right, guys, we're here today to start a new project, a build project. This right here is the Gladiator. If you guys aren't aware, I did the video of me uh, trading in the Jeep JL and getting the Gladiator. So check out that video. But I've already started the first mod, a couple of mods really, but I uh, put on the um, cargo rail system, which is from Jeep. If you guys remember, I did not order that. Um, I had forgotten whenever I did my build process. By the time I realized it was too late. So I ordered these, I got it for $350. I'll post a uh, part number and a link below, but this is what the um, the Jeep version looks like. A lot of people are using the uh, one inch um, utility rail and doing a do-it-yourself jobber kind of thing, but I wanted to have the Jeep part uh, since I was kind of upset I didn't order it. So that was easy to install. Um, the instructions are super simple. You, the shorter piece goes up front along the cab right there. Um, it goes into the uh, the stock holes that are on the uh, Jeep that come on the Jeep. So easy install. It comes with the four cleats right here and right here. Um, you can order uh, extra ones of these um, online. There's actually, I believe, the same thing as a Toyota Tacoma or Tundra or something back in the day. But I didn't get those. But what I'm going to be installing here today with the help of my little helper here. Say hi. Hi. It's my daughter. We're gonna be installing the uh, Armis, Rugged Ridge Armis hard rolling tonneau cover. So let's get it unpackaged and uh, put it up here and see what we can start doing. Here. All right, so we got it popped off here. I got this from Quadratech. Uh, Rugged Ridge has a rebate going right now. And so um, I think it was like a $100 rebate plus a $100 Quadratech gift card. So um, these are the rails that go along the side. I think this is for that side, I think. And this one is for the other side over here. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what the instructions say whenever we get it all unpacked. Um, pretty good packaging. You can see this is the hard rolling cover right there. You got some, uh, some weather stripping uh, seal, bulkhead seal. There's all your bolts and hardware here this is just a foam packaging so we'll lift this up all the parts here instructions owner's manual here we go okay all right so this is how we're going to do main parts bag so you got your cover assembly your driver's side rail passenger side rail weather stripping seal so let's get to uh installing this here so let's go to the first page and see what we got trail rail cargo management system which we just put on you can also do this with the no rail system you can see here but um, i have the trail rail that i just put on simple installation so i'm going to use the rail system this is what you're going to need you're going to need 27 torx 27 eighth inch hex five millimeter hex four millimeter hex couple of ratchets, 7 sixteenths, and obviously a pair of bucket of water. So, all right, so first things first. Let's see, apply foam block seal to driver's side and passenger side of bulkhead corners. I wanted to show you guys this because a lot of people were complaining Rugged Ridge. Um, there's a manufacturing change before July of 2020, or if you have an after July of 2020. So uh, before it was, people were saying, hey, wait a minute, I don't have a threaded hole in my Jeep. What's the deal? Well, the reason why is because Jeep changed the manufacturing. So you've got a, two round holes, one, and when you have the two round holes, the bottom one is threaded, or you have a hexagon hole up top and a round hole, and that one's not threaded. That was manufactured after 2020. So since this is a 2021, you can see that I have the hex hole and then the round non-threaded hole right there. So they give you some inserts to put into the, um, the hole here and here's your inserts that you're going to install into those holes and it'll look something like this so i've um, got a washer and you got some um some inserts kind of nut inserts that go in there you can see and then those so um they've they've done really well with these instructions and getting it ready for the newer manufactured uh, change there so a lot of people are complaining about it the reason why is because jeep changed the manufacturing so it's not always rugged ridges fault so but that's what we're looking at
Okay, so I think the way that they have it described is this is how it goes. So this is the driver's side and the L shape you can see goes inside towards the bed to uh, stop it from uh, leaking water into the bed. So you can see on this side, this is what it looks like on this side. So a little fun sponge block there um, to stop the water from draining in on the corners. I think this is how it's supposed to go. Oh yeah, there's the new decal I put on. And again, with this little package here, they have these little pieces that you see here. And this is the majority of what you guys are all gonna be doing, because the majority of vehicles are gonna be watching this, trucks owners, is gonna be after July 2020. Uh, so you're gonna have a, a newer um, Gladiator, but you can see here what they're looking at. So you use this little package that they give you uh, and stuff, as well as the original ones here. So we're gonna put this piece in here up top and then the rubber grommet uh, and nuts are down bar. All right guys, so what we're gonna use is these jack nuts here. They got a jack nut wrench is what they're calling it. So this goes through here and this is, you don't put the bracket on here yet. You're just doing this to get this. Basically it's like a rib nut. Screw it in there like that. And this uh, ratchet, like a little metal piece here is supposed to be there to hold the jack nut in place. You take your ratchet with a 7 16 socket and you tighten it down. Put it on righty tighty left. And then what it does is it pulls that jack nut into the body of the bed of the truck and makes it basically like a rib nut. And this wrench stops it from turning so that it pulls it. Take this back out so we can put the bracket on for the tunnel cover. But see now we can see that the jack nut is now secured into the bed right here and the threaded portion is just on the other side of the bed. So this isn't loose and moving around anymore. We have the rubber insert down below for the bottom piece. So moving on to the next step. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is this bracket right here, okay? This is the passenger, or the driver's side. Over here is the passenger side that I did already. And you can see that the bracket comes up here flush with the top of the bed rail. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So to do that, we're gonna take our bolt, 716 bolt with washer that we use for the jack nut. We're gonna put that in there and gonna start threading it through, okay? Now, what we need to do is put a washer between this bracket and the rubber nut cert that we put in there. So we're gonna have a washer behind the bracket. Okay, now we're gonna have a spacer washer right here, it's a thicker one, in front. And we're gonna put the Allen head bolt through both of those. So through the spacer, through the bracket, through the washer, and then into that rubber nut search that we put into the bed. We're gonna tighten this down right here. Now again, making sure that it is flush with the top of the bed right here. And we're gonna tighten all that down. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the rear bracket onto the bed rail. If you have the bed rail like this, this is what you're gonna use. So you're gonna take this nut Place it up inside there like that. Put your half inch bolt with your washer. So go like this here. And we're gonna thread it into that square nut. All right, so we'll take the passenger side rail. So these straps right here with the hook, they go towards the front of the cab. Take this rail right here and just set it on top set it here for now and we're going to take our torx head bolt and our lock nut with a washer right here place it into this hole here and that's going to slide this down to where you need it and that's going to go into there like that so all it's going to be pretty loose right now we're going to tighten it all down once we get all the bolts in put where we want them. so that's going to go right there and tighten it down whenever it's time to put it all together. All right, 
Same thing with that. We're gonna take another Torx head bolt. We're gonna take a nylon locking nut in our washer. And we're gonna put it through that front bracket that we did earlier, right through there like that. And then put the lock nut underneath the nylon lock nut. Tighten it all down to where it's nice and flush. Okay, so once you get the rails loosely installed, you're gonna take the actual hard um, rolling cover and sit on top of the rails, ensuring that there's not too much gap here between the edge of this rail and the hard uh, rolling cover itself. And you see on this side, I'm trying to do it with one hand, but you see over there, a little bit of a gap. And then you slide these pieces here over to lock underneath like that. And you're gonna tighten everything down on this end. You're gonna tighten down that bolt, that Torx head bolt and the nylon lock nut. And then you're gonna roll it, slowly roll it out, okay? Making sure that it doesn't roll on top of the uh, edge right here. You see there's a little bit of a gap. And on this side, same thing. And so you're gonna roll it out slowly until you get to the end. Okay, and once you get to the end, then you're going to adjust the side brackets here so that they're the right height. And so that this piece here comes down on the edge here and it doesn't overlap. See how there's a little bit of a gap there. It's rolling in that section. Same thing on this side. It's a little bit tighter on this side, but you can see and uh, you tighten up your brackets here. Your roll this back and tighten up your Torx head here and it rolls out and it locks down in there. These right here, pieces with the cord, you pull that there and they open and you snap it down. And on this side, once you get it down, you roll your hand along the edge to seal tight that Velcro. And that's what it looks like right there, guys. Nice hard rolling tonneau cover, it's nice and flat. See how flat that is there? It's really nice. Really nice, and it's hard. So nobody's gonna cut into it. You can set stuff on top of here. I don't know what the weight limitation is, but I mean, it's it's pretty, it's pretty heavy duty. So I wouldn't stand, you obviously can't stand up there, but that's what it looks like. All right, guys, see you on the next one.